Hi, I'm Jordan Briones, teaching pro here at Primetime Pickleball. Today we're going to look at a simple yet effective warm-up dink drill that you can do with your partner before you play. Let's jump right in. Okay, so I call this the straight on warm-up dink drill. And for this drill, we'll only be using half of the court. As you can see here, my partner and I start at the non-volley zone line. One of us will feed the ball and the drill will begin. When doing this drill, the sideline is out of bounds along with an imaginary line through the center of the non-volley zone. This drill focuses on dinking, trying to move your opponent side to side, making them move to hit each ball. Since this is a warm-up dink drill, there's no hard drives or hard volleys allowed. The goal is to outdink your opponent with consistency and touch. The first player to 5 points wins the game. It's very important to keep score when drilling. I can't stress this enough. Keeping track of the score keeps you focused. It works on how to play high percentage pickleball and it also teaches you how to be mentally tough in game situations. Let's check out a few points that we played. One thing that you should notice is how I try my very best to stay close to that non-volley zone line. And also how I choose to take some dinks as volleys instead of backing up and letting the ball bounce. Taking certain dinks as volleys keeps me in better position at the non-volley zone and it also gives my opponent less time to react to their next shot. After playing a few games to 5 points, you can switch it up and also add hard drives and volleys and even lobs to this drill. With both players starting out at the non-volley zone, you can start out dinking and after a few dinks make it a live ball. Let's take a look at some of these points. As you do this drill more often, you'll realize how much patience and consistency it takes to outdink your opponent to win the point. The better and you and your partner get, the longer your rallies will become, and in turn, you should see your dink game improve each time you step on the court. So get out there and practice, and remember, keep dinking. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and hit the like button. And also be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any of our pickleball instruction videos. Please feel free to leave us comments below and let us know of any pickleball questions you'd like to see answered in a future video.